What's up guys, Jean here back with another unboxing. Today we are going to be unboxing this six ring LED light. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. Before we go ahead and get started, I want to say that this video was not sponsored by this company that made this ring light, Tenswall. I just figured that it would be a cool video to do to see whether or not it is a good setup that maybe you guys might want to try out because right now my current setup is with recording the footage using the Canon SL2 and then I'm recording my audio on the Fifine lavalier mic which I did in a previous video if you guys haven't seen that I'll go ahead and link it up here in an iCard and in a link down below in the description field and I am also using a light that I bought off of AliExpress. So, so this box comes with a six inch ring light and it comes with a phone mount, which was super useful because I started recording my YouTube videos on my iPhone 7, but it was a little bit harder just because the screen was never facing me. So I wasn't really ever sure if I was in the picture or if it was focused or not. Whereas with this Canon SL2, it has that flip out screen where I can tell if I'm inside that box or not of what's being recorded. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at it and see from there. So let's go ahead and just check out the specs on this tripod setup from Amazon because this is where I got it from. And the description says that it's a six inch ring light with tripod stand for makeup, YouTube video, tense wall, mini desktop, LED camera light for with phone holder, selfie ring light for live streaming, photography with three light modes and 11 brightness. It's kind of a long description field or just like a summary of what the item is, but it does give you a good idea of what the item does. So I guess most people do use this for makeup tutorials. I don't really do those, so it could be used for other things. So we'll go ahead and check that out to see if it is useful for that because the fact that the light ring is attached to the tripod is super nice and convenient because I currently use the Joby Gorillapod to mount my camera and then I have a separate tripod that holds a phone mount for my Ulanzi light. So the fact that this one comes with a horizontal bar that can fit both, that's pretty nice to see. And it's $29.99 and using the Honey Chrome extension you can see that it is the best deal that you can find on a product like this. But from this, you can see that there are the three different modes. There is the white, yellow, and warm yellow. And those are the 11 modes of brightness through the different rings of brightness for each mode that it comes with. So it comes with a nice ability to swivel with a 360 rotation on both the camera linkage on both the camera link and as well as the light. And apparently the USB power supply is delivered to the light is what I assume. So it's rechargeable, which is nice, and it doesn't take batteries because my Ulan Z light actually does take batteries. It takes four, triple, four AA batteries, but I got a rechargeable Nokia battery inside because I don't want to deal with buying batteries all the time. I'd rather just recharge a battery because then it just makes it super convenient with not having to go to the store and buy batteries and like as well as dealing with recycling the batteries after I'm done with it. And now let's just go ahead and get to the unboxing. So right here we've got the box and let's go ahead and open it. So there are these two tabs that are on the side that you have to pull up first. And then you can slide these two things out. And then let's go ahead and flip it over before I make a mess. And if we go ahead and unfold it, we can see the item. So on the very top there it says surprise. Um, basically it's just a thank you letter and if we go ahead and see here that it comes with the instruction manual which is nice. Basically gives you the instructions on how to build it and the components and yeah so we'll read that later when we're setting it up. This is the premium VIP service manual, and I guess this is how you would be able to contact them for warranty information and such. So we're going to go ahead and put that off to the side. I'll register it later if there is a thing. So let's go ahead and take everything out of this package so we can get rid of the box. OK, 
Okay, putting the box to the side, we can see this is one of the items. There's the phone quick release item here. So yeah, it's a quick release item and then there's a little nozzle on the back. So it makes it easy to record landscape as well as portrait, whichever one you like to record in. Here is the six inch ring light and it does come with a USB-A input so this is nice for charging the light or just a power source to the light so there we go and then it comes with a nice little remote control that's attached to it to control the different settings so here we can see that it's basically what's displayed in the image on the Amazon purchase so it says up down on and off and model I guess they probably meant to say mode which I assume this is the three different modes and then this is to increase and decrease the amount of brightness so let's go ahead and unpackage everything else And this is that horizontal bar that you'll be sticking your phone in light ring on. So it's nice that it is exactly the same on both. So you can insert your phone on the right for easy control and access if you are righty. You could have it reverse if you are lefty or whatever method works for you. So yeah. And then last but not least, there is the tripod mount. So getting that out of there. So right now I am recording this footage off of my iPhone 7, but it is reversed in order to get similar amount of quality in comparison to my Canon SL2. So right now I don't have either of my lights on, not the 6 inch ring light or the Ulan Z light that I normally use. And the reason why I had to use the back facing camera is because this has 12 megapixels and will shoot up to 1080p versus the front facing camera which only has 7 megapixels. So I hope I am in frame. But I have the ring light plugged in and hopefully you guys can see that there is a blue light indicator meaning that there is power to the device. So I'm going to go ahead and click the power button. And this is the one of the modes. So I assume this is the white light, this is the warm light, and this is the yellow light. So I'm going to go ahead and turn them up all the way to the maximum. I think that's the max for the warm, or is this the yellowish one? So this is the white light, yellowish, yellow. White, yellowish, yellow. And we can go ahead and go all the way down to the smallest mode. And this is the minimum amount. And this is yellow, white yellowish and we're gonna go ahead and increase each one little by little I'm not sure if you guys can hear the clicks but it seems like there's actually 10 modes per mode I guess 10 levels of brightness per mode I know it said 11 in the um, Amazon listing but from the number of clicks I've been able to get as well as with the flashes of different levels of brightness I've only been able to count 10 which is more than enough in my opinion but one thing that I did wish this rig did have is the fact that I wish it had a level meter just to know whether or not my phone is parallel or if this tripod is parallel to the ground and just to have even footage because it's kind of hard. I don't think I've ever had to deal with unleveled footage because the Joby Gorilla tripod that I have on my camera actually has a level meter. So I'm able to level out my camera to make sure 
the little bubble is in the middle to try and get even footage so I don't have to try and correct it later because then some of the shots in the background will be out of range so then I'd have to zoom in a lot and it'd be very strange. So the audio from this footage is still coming from the Fifine, it's just that the light and the actual camera footage is coming from the rig. So my iPhone 7 as well as the 6 inch ring light. So I'm going to go ahead and turn off the light and this is basically what it looks like. My eyes are a little bit blinded but this is what it looks like with no light at all. This is what it looks like with the ring light on. Alright, so this is what it looks like right behind the scenes of what you just saw. So here is that little remote control that has the up, down, power on, and the different modes. And it does come with a little twist tie here, so it's very convenient. But this little tripod also can be set at different levels, which is why I said it would be nice if it came with a little tripod, because you can't have uneven footage like that. So we're going to go ahead and drop that back down. The reason why I use this backdrop is because my room is super messy. But, so this is what it looks like with the ring light on the left and my phone on the right. So it's a pretty nice setup. I'm also going to show you guys what it's like to just do a quick release. So there went my phone, but it's a little bit different from other ones because this little lever is on the bottom. The top won't move, so I guess you can also rotate it the other way. And you can also film a portrait if you are doing a live stream or anything like that. So it's nice that it gives you the option to do landscape or portrait. Thank you guys so much for watching my unboxing on the Tense Wall 6 inch ring light and phone mount tripod. If you guys liked it, go ahead and smash that thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel for further content. If there was a different ring light or setup that you found that works for you, feel free to comment it in the comment section down below because I'd love to hear what you're using. Until then, see you guys next time.